Today I want you to write down your goal for the next one to two years. And I say that because it's important to, to write down your goals. I've come to understand that, especially in my work as a coach. And when I say uh, goal, I mean the goal for your career. So I think about this and I look back to my time when I was doing, I was working in recruitment, but I wanted to make a transition from recruitment and I wanted to get into marketing. Now, the role I wanted to get into was very different to the role that I'd been working in recruitment, but I knew it was possible because there was a a gap in the market, or at least a a shortage of the type of marketing role that I wanted at, at that particular time. So I knew it was feasible for me to to make that transition, to make that switch within a period of one to two years. So I wrote that down. I wrote, wrote the fact that I wanted to make a transition into marketing, into that particular role, which was SEO related. It was a, a managerial role within SEO within a two year period. I wrote that down. And what that enabled me to do, it enabled me to, to start to, to focus on that, to visualize that and around that start to understand what it was I needed to do in order to get to that particular goal. Fast forward to my my time and my work now, writing down goals and setting goals and actions and all those other sorts of things related to goals is what I do my work on a day-to-day basis with my, my clients. It's so important because they, by writing down goals, they're able to, as I said, visualize and really focus on what it is that they want. They're able to then take the steps that they need to to take, as well as applying action in the right direction in order to fulfill fulfill their goals. And with, with me supporting them as well, it's something that helps to keep them on track. And that's another thing you need to to think about who who can help me i don't when i say help i don't mean do the stuff for you but who can be there to keep me accountable to my goals because if you don't have somebody who's account who you're accountable to then the likelihood of you achieving that particular goal reduces so i don't know what the statistic is but i saw a statistic you you're 95% more likely to achieve your goal if you make a promise to, to somebody that you will fulfill that and take the steps that you need to fulfill that particular goal. So there's a couple of things today that I want you to do. and I don't want you to go into too much detail when you write down this particular goal that you're going to write down. I don't want you to make um, a smart goal at, at this particular point. All I want you to do is write down one sentence that describes you know what your goal is and when you want to achieve that goal by because then you can then go back you can then research smart goals after that and begin to refine your goal as you go along and make it something that's realistic make it something that really inspires you has to inspire you Again, back to my example, when I was working in recruitment, I wanted to, I wasn't, I wasn't at that particular time inspired with recruitment. I wanted something new, something fresh. And working in marketing, working in SEO, uh, elevating myself to a management position within SEO was something that really, really got me excited and interested. And that kept me going. That kept me focused. That kept me wanting to do more, I immersed myself in that particular ambition. I spoke to people who were doing it. I read websites who that specialise in that particular area. I went to events. I had informational calls. I was just, yeah, I guess, obsessed over that particular goal. I wanted it so much. And I ended up achieving that particular goal. Because after all, a goal... If you write that particular goal down, 
and you don't do anything with it, then it just it's just a dream. It won't you won't fulfill that particular goal. So, but at this stage, as I said, what I want you to do is just write down a very basic sentence at this point. It could be something like, in the next two years, I want to be head of department for X company, or I want to get a promotion to X role, or I want to work for this particular company, for X company, whatever it may be. So that's all I want to do, all I want you to do, sorry, within the next two years. If you feel as though you can achieve that goal sooner, within the next year, then put that down. Make it a one-year goal. But like I said, make sure it's realistic at this point. But as I said, don't go into too much detail. Don't refine it. Just write it down at this particular point. When you've written that down, then what I want you to do is research SMART goals and then make that particular goal a SMART goal. So that's, that's, your, uh, that's your task for today.